Hello and welcome to the director commentary for the 2022 documentary film Different Love. I am joined today by my good friend and collaborator, Edrian Suchowski, aka Sukopir. Yes, how are you? yes, good. How are you doing? Yes, very good. Good. Uh, looking forward to seeing it for the fifth time. I don't know if entirely, but... Uh, fifth time? Seen it. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Mm. That's what I wanted to say. I'm looking forward to seeing it, How are you? Too. I'm good. You've I'm, seen it? Do you want to see it, too? I want to watch it again. I want to re-visit uh, the magic and uh, let people in on the process of... <clears throat> creating this film and uh, and you know some some behind the scenes stuff some of the trials and tribulations things that we uh, dealt with and overcame um, I guess let's start with the genesis yeah. of how this project came to be do you have any you thoughts sure? on that yeah well it, it was your idea um, you wanted to uh, to revisit the work that, that we did and uh, mainly because of the frustration of it not having any anybody listen to the to the music mm -hmm. we've made and uh, I think we at least I say that very phrase various times during the film uh, it's a it's kind of like a frustrating film yes Can you agree? yeah well I think a lot of the art that I make and probably you make has come out of uh, frustration and uh, the various ways that yeah. it presents itself and, and ways of working through frustration. So, you know, yeah, that's mm -hmm. definitely uh, the impetus that got us to where we are now, sure. which is we're recording this. It's a year later. I actually don't know it if it's is? an exact Already? year. <laughs> it's probably not a, an exact year, <laughs> but... I I was gonna I was gonna do the joke that it's been like ten years. Oh okay. No, it's been ten years and so this is um this is revisiting it's after been twenty a years. It's, it's been twenty years. It's been twenty years since we made the film and so now we're kinda coming back. This is for the that's you know, that makes it so that it's you know of course we need to do this. You know, it's the anniversary twenty five years since we made the film and so the anniversary uh, commentary, director's commentary. Exactly. And uh, I think we've all that very nicely over the years. Yeah. You know, we have the same These past voice. 30 years or so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been like 40 years I have two kids now. Mm -hmm. You have like, uh, you've been divorced twice. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, it's been a long time since 50 years ago today was actually when the film came out. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, such a long time that uh, I thought we, I mean at, at the time I thought that we were gonna be dead by this time. Right. So I'm surprised we're not. Anyway, so we're getting into the film here. So you want to talk about what we're seeing here? Yes, yeah, so this is Madrid. Um, I wanted to capture, uh, you know, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And I wanted, I wanted to to capture how noisy it is and how it's always having some kind of construction done everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you cannot really see anything in the city because it's all been, um, it's been reworked. Yeah, it's an unfinished so city. You, it and it always will be. Yeah. Seems like there's always. Oh, there's there's a bear. There's a bear. There's a one-armed guy, which I really like. The one-armed guy. It's true. Yeah, uh, I saw it after effect. I think it makes it more uh, Madrid. Yep. I don't. Um, and uh, I was uncomfortable hugging the bear, as you can see. I bet. I I thought I thought how many people with dirty fingers mm -hmm. have hugged that better before yep and so and then this this is uh it looks like a different uh, bear actually uh, well, that's a different bear yeah we, we that one i didn't hug really. 
but then it just now I'm saying how I'm uh, you know so cool and I love how your eyes dart around like nice. they're they're all over you know uh, yeah I'm thinking very hard about what I'm saying <laughs> sure well you have to translate in real time right so you're you know translating and that's a lot of like gymnastics happening in the brain maybe well I, I do think in English too, oh you think in, do you, you think in English do you dream in English I've dreamed I've dreamt in English yeah like uh, I, I mean I don't, I don't remember the dream but it's that I, I don't want to be talking about my dream <laughs> <laughs> that's the best that, that moment of the film right there that one there we come back to the bear <laughs> we just come back to the bear I, I'm, I say that I just hack the bear I'm saying that I'm, I'm a lonely guy yeah if, you, if you've watched the film you know right there I said that I was a lonely guy it looks like a beautiful day in, in Madrid was this in the spring it was yeah it was beautiful mm. There you go. What what do you have to say about your shot? Well, this is the Pine Wind Garden. This is in Torrance. Um, it's part of the Torrance Performing Arts Center slash library. And it's actually down the street from where I live. So I walk there often and enjoy serenity and peace within the garden. And there are some koi fish, beautiful and I wanted this to be very med meditate meditative meditative meditative. Nice. How do you say that word? Meditative. Um, I've dreamt of that word. In English. In English. So anyway, here I am. I'm contemplating all sorts of things, but I'm also trying, like the Dickens, to remove all thoughts. From the brain and think in a no mind state where I am in the void. Mm -hmm. Did you just get a text? I did, but but please uh, continue. Anyway, so <laughs> um, the music is music I did with um, a com collaborator, composer. Uh, Akira Tominaga and it's from uh, one of uh, my earlier experimental records when I was getting into that type of music and I thought it suited the shots nicely and uh, here I am entering my apartment and that's Bing Clausby the gray kitty cat and I'm going to give mm -hmm. him some treats now and those are greenies, and Bing seems to really like the savory salmon flavor. Interesting. So that's the ones we get. We get them, and if you can find the tub, it's a better value than the individual packs. Okay. And there, nice. I have no more treats. And that's kind of that's my segment of the introduction of my character in the film. That's good. I'm way too bright, but there's a big, big contrast so between uh, those. Okay. You're thinking too much about it. That's a uh, fucking that was naked, fucking necessary. documentary. Uh, I think, as far as like the okay. two intros, you okay. mean? Yes. First yeah. thing that happened. Why is, what is and it then mean? a, a okay, farther okay. contrast okay. with the Skype the calls. First thing that happened is I heard where I I was having music. a lot of allergy yeah. allergies allergies because spring. Uh, it's a spring, and um, you know, one one. It, it seems like I'm I'm up. having like a mood, mm -hmm. like a bad mood. But you yeah, actually were just feeling I ill from from allergy sickness. Uh, yes. Then what happened? Yeah. I just wanted and wanted I, to clear uh, that up. Um, like you weren't <laughs> pissed off while we were uh, shooting this. I was not pissed off. No. Because I think a lot of people I, actually I said that to me. It came off almost like you're being interrogated or something. Against my will. Against your will, but in reality, so you're just I, uh, I, uh, not. F you're a little under the weather. I, uh, what do you say, correspond? That's right. That's a good way to put it. Right on. I, think. I responded 
So at this point, we've shown yeah, the audience responded well. the intro with all of the flashy well. editing. We've shown them your introduction, which is sort we've of you know in the town square in, in medieval Madrid. And then oh, you boy, show me yeah. in my <laughs> Zen garden. Song. And now here we are, but and then, it's the split why screen it, why did it end up being more than portion of the film. Well, like Which might make most of the you, film. You I think it's most of the film. I'd, I'd say it's ninety percent of the film is uh, this sort of talking yes. heads thing. Do you want to talk about how we decided uh, to structure the film uh, with that, with the split screen stuff? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, this is a, a great moment. I think oh. because we were thinking about how we were going to, um, I guess, introduce ourselves to people that might not know us and so but we didn't really want to take too much time talking mm -hmm. about our lives yeah and so we just did this little montage here right of, uh, pictures. of us as children yeah which i think works good because then it kind of humanizes us it makes us seem like you know like oh they were they were children they're not just weird guys that just crawled out of a sewer you know what i mean they had lives where they were children because that, that's what I expect from people that I don't know. Exactly. So if you see them as a kid, you're like, oh, you were once you know, young and innocent and, and untainted um, by the weirdness of the world. Of, uh, just yeah. Doing it yeah. So there you go. That's good to know. Adrian sent me a few demos, and I got the idea. Let's see, what are we talking about here? A full album. Now, from that point on, we Dude, it's in there like that. Those demos, it's right? a sort of teaser of things to come. Um, yes. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I guess I'm struggling so. right there. You can no, see that. It's cool, demos. though, because yeah. it adds My, complexity to yeah, that yeah, composition. Me, like, uh, also, true, yeah. worth I noting mean, that you it's nighttime yeah. in your world, um, and it's in, daytime. And you're in... in yeah, and you're in... It's, it's daytime and I'm indoors and it's nighttime and you're outdoors. That's an interesting contrast, wouldn't you say? It's true, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean it wasn't planned, but, you know, it's good to see. I think, it's good to see. I think that, uh, that people uh, might, uh, might maybe thought that was uh, interesting. They might have, but I don't think anyone thought about that. Yeah, that's why yeah. we need to say it. It's yeah, it needs to be so what I was expressed to explicitly, like just because uh, that's kind of what you do here. I've noticed that, like you know, I've some yeah. other director commentaries I've watched. They've sort of at the beginning, there's a lot of energy because everyone's like living in the nostalgia because they're seeing the work or whatever. But then it devolves after 50 years. After a while, the, the commentary devolves, and they're just sort of like, oh, yeah, and then there's that thing. You know what I mean? And then it becomes kind of like, because you get, you know, anytime you watch anything, well, you get lazy, but anytime you watch anything, you become, like, hypnotized by the material, no matter what it is. It's true. It's, we, we, we have to constantly um, be uh, separated from what we're seeing. Yeah. To stay in our heads and react quickly and then... Not, not be captivated exactly. by ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> and people don't realize how hard this is because, you know, we were, we were trying to give you good information in the midst of, you know, watching these beautiful performers on screen. So, anyway. Exactly. So, we're talking about the making of the song Pressure. Oh, true. Which was the, uh, the song that was playing... You know, on the uh, montage that before. That yes, a, so an early nice demo start, version you know, where you really, I think, made it clear for me that uh, we could do part, this collaboration like because I heard that yeah, early demo and I thought, oh, he's this guy's brilliant. He's got a great in, in uh, sense like for how to put together so this music. This, this, and so I, I got excited by that. And that's why I think it's important that we included a lot of that song, that early demo, because... It never got, you know, it never saw the light of day. Uh, but I think... True in, oh, go on. Oh, no, uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, just saying that, um, exactly, that it was the first 
with the collaboration, you know, and, and you, you send me the, the first idea, and uh, for me it was uh, a rush to, to continue it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the collaboration. To make it, the make the basic. the second part of a song, yeah, making yeah, the demo. Yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. like that's when it's added to wow, look at us. Here, here we are in Los Angeles. So young. That's yeah. incredible. So. Oh yeah. You, there were songs wow. that you started There's, on your That's the, my basement in Milwaukee. Well, I think. Uh, Very comfy recording setup, I have to say. With the, and there's your recorded recording setup. Look that's at that. my yeah. recording setup with a bunch of coloring pens. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I used I mean, to record not anymore, on, a, on a desk, or not on a desk, on a couch on an ottoman, and then I switched to a desk, and I think I've been miserable ever since. Whatever that first thing is, that oh, is oh, the, that man. Is the, the Actually, that's a good idea. Recording on a couch. That's what you build on. I should do it on a bed. I thought you did kind of always. with Well, because you had your iPad. Did you record on a bed or did you, were you on a desk? Oh, oh yeah, well, that's true, but that was very, that was only for the beginning of the um, different love. For the beginning. But, uh, but it was very short. Yeah. Period. There I am. Where were that's you in that picture? the house of a friend, friend of mine called Alberto. And there I'm outside of my house in Milwaukee. And then where I recorded we Different Love. Doing a Skype. Like, but it, there was a, nice. Uh, That's outside of the Times were, Cinema like, in Milwaukee. It's a great in cinema. Texas. Then it got, I think the album got... That's uh, my mouth. That's me in the basement. That's, uh, you know, the idea of the album, you know, we started saying... You, you I like saying, I like this, like, sort of like, the, that's me here, that's me that's there. Me. That's, that's me as well. That's you, that's me, that's you. So what was that like? First that's me that's and you. Well, well, it was kind of like nervous. there I am, uh, hiding from the camera. In this shot, your you, you uh, microphone was like, malfunctioning or something. Oh yeah, it's about, true. You know, and so you were freaking it. out, and I yeah, I did record it and I put it in here, and you liked the 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 look of this shot, right? Yeah, I liked how I was hiding from the camera. Mm -hmm. because, because it's it's such yeah, a all, all you know you, you just see like yeah. a tiny window and no <laughs> i'm not even like in the frame what the fuck and that's all i knew <laughs> about you was you in a tiny little window that's all i you know before we met in person exactly. before you were flesh and blood true. it's true yeah. you were just a guy for me in a tiny little window there, there, for example, that's a mistake that I made. I didn't... The culata is actually the butt of a pistol. Oh. I didn't... Yeah, culata is... Uh, and, and there, in, in that shot, I'm saying that that's not how you say ass. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's how you say the back of a pistol. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. Here, you're on the phone with someone. I don't even know what you're saying. no. No, Me neither, because I don't I don't pronounce the words uh, like I'm lazy pronouncing <laughs> words. That's uh, that's pretty bad. Lazy no, pronouncing words. That's that's the way I put it. But um, basically, I don't like I don't pronounce words properly. Wow. Is it possible? Even in English. I'm there. But. Uh, okay. I was living like, with uh, my mom. I need to pronounce better. I was yeah. working. It's interesting. At That's something. Some, some people here in Spain talk like that, like lazily, um, I could say. Really yeah. Without making an effort to to sound uh, uh, that place. Uh, to be understood. Yeah. Where so. I lived on the north side, all the way to the east side of Milwaukee. So like Here I'm talking that's good. about. That's good. So what? You're, you're in Los Angeles? Japanese restaurant. Yeah, I mean, that's the pool at my and apartment. I knew that upon first blush, and I was like, this is And really I remember being very distracted trying to record in there because there were so many random noises occurring. So started uh, working there. <laughs> and so the audio level is really I, low I because I was there. trying not and, to uh, add to the cacophony. Oh. I, I didn't notice yeah. that at all. You well, it's because I blasted the audio. Like I got, it's as loud well, as it can I, be. I, uh, I was finishing high school. I oh, I see. Still. Are you serious? What's that shot? I think yeah. it was my last year. That's me in high school doing a performance. I 
in high school? Maybe. It, I was basically like, uh, like faking that I was gonna do a, a concert, and then everything goes then wrong, and I commit suicide at the end. Oh, that's the um, the plot. I never knew what the plot was of it. Yeah, yeah, that was the plot. That's very edgy. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that was high school. Um, I'm just thinking out loud, but th- this is a really great. This will be a really great companion piece to the to the documentary because there's a lot of unexplained imagery and shots and material. Because we let's talk about gathering material. Um, Mm. You know, I'm just saying, you know, to sum up that idea before we move on to talking about the material that we gathered in that process, I uh, I will say, yeah. um, to finish that thought, I think this will be a good companion for people to be able to uh, figure out what some of this stuff is. For example, I don't play the cello. Uh, oh, but you've played when you were a kid, right? No, I played the the double bass the stand-up bass which is oh. not similar actually um, oh no not at all yeah so talk about the gathering of the material what do you remember about that um well for me it was very you know i i'm very unorganized so i had to like uh get we, into many folders my whole and, desktop uh, was actually full of done. folders. You couldn't see the background image. Mm-hmm. So once it was all full of things, out, and so I, I need needed to, to check out all of them. And sometimes I couldn't like even guitar, find it by uh, searching for, for the name so of things. And, and so it, it was just a matter of what I found guitar. randomly, and then I sent it, sent it sometimes to you, and like then you organized it. And then we added. So for me, it was an easy breeze. An easy breeze. And a drum An easy that was breeze. Paul. And what I did from my end right was I took there. all of the files right and I put them into a folder called documentary. Glasses off. And then uh, I just... Oh, well, I did that too, actually. You did that too. Well, that probably made it easier then for you to send them to me. But then I took everything yeah. and then I had it all... I had it all labeled... Like, I had a whole folder for Adrian, I had a whole folder for Max, and then I had a folder for collaborators, so here we go, we got a first collaborator, the wonderful Paul Westfall, talking about playing drums on two of the records, actually three, because he got on one of the tracks on the last one, but anyway, so it was nice to have that organization uh, really, really, like, the cornerstone of what we did, because then... From there, it's like easy. I mean, seriously, anyone could do this. All you do is you just take all the shit that you gathered, because you just gather a bunch of shit, and then you take it all, and you put it into a final... I literally just took it all and dragged it into a final cut timeline, and then just started, literally just started randomly assembling this thing, like like a frenzied uh, raccoon on crack. Exactly what I thought. It's so easy, though. I feel like if, uh, that's all filmmaking is, really. It's just you gather yeah, shit, and then you assemble it, and then you put it out, make people, you inflict it upon people. For sure. I mean, you first have to have a huge uh, back catalog of uh, things you've done, and I think that's what we did a lot of, and we didn't really share it too much, and so we had so much to share. Me kind of that uh, it was so easy uh, because there, there was so many clips. There was too that too much stuff. There was too much stuff. There's sure. a lot that that I'm, didn't make it into the film. I'm hearing the song. Exactly. Maybe we'll do I a mean, director's made director's it four hours. Yeah, we could have. We tried to keep uh, it under two hours, which I think cool. is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, we're I mean, out no out one. You know, the people you know, that I I've talked about, I no one has seen it. You know. Like entirely, but I think because really it's two hours, to and yeah. uh, I like that. And, and and <laughs> That's good. It's like a, it's like an anthology like that. I like, series. I like that. In the it's so vast that it's like that, that you know you can't see. It's like the Louvre, you know, you can't see it all. It's a series. Yeah. It is the same as as the Louvre. <laughs> it is the same. And to capture. It is the same thing with me. It's kind of a cool thing. Oh man. And then added horns with Nelson. Oh, here we go. We're going to see but, my brother. Um, sometimes horns. Oh, yeah, yeah. The horns. Drums, right? 
Wait for it. Maybe. I I'm saying that. What horns? No, no, I'm saying. Parts, what the fuck? Up into the right into the end, like right before we released it. I'm this sniffing my nose. Devereaux. There's my brother. He's wearing sunglasses, which I don't know why. I am related to Max. This uh, that's interesting. We have the same parents. I am older, although certain people. Oh say Lord, that there's people fucking. Looking. Leaf blowing outside. I don't know if we're going to be hearing that in the director's commentary here, but if, if so, I apologize to everybody. We apologize very sincerely. They, they leaf blow every, every... We're doing this on a Monday, and they always do it every Monday, and I hate it, because I think they just blow the leaves, the leaves all over, and it doesn't change anything. It just moves them to a different spot. They just leave them there, right? Yeah, they don't even come and pick them up. It's so stupid. They just Do you hear that? It sounds like I'm, I'm like in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's, it's gonna get louder to too, which is the thing. Anyway, oh my God. let's get back to this. So Nelson is, uh, he is doing his thing, and he's talking about making the thing. And man, Nelson, I you know Nelson, I love him. I think he's made so much collaborations uh, uh, with me with like. No, uh, not wanting anything in return, which is crazy, because I've heard that he charges a lot of money for classes and for adding instruments. You know, mm -hmm. he's at that level, very he high is. level. Yes. Uh, and so you were sort of so grandfathered in, though, so you're able to work with him in a sort of for sure different, I mean, different that, capacity. That was, that was great. That is great. That is great, and, it, so and you know he's added some beautiful stuff to your music. So there you go. Oh yeah, I'm very thankful. Using more sophisticated for that, mm -hmm. and for you too, adding stuff on my and, music. Um, and I don't charge a lot, so you know that's. In the way that yeah, you you only charge like three hundred oh. per per second. Per second. So wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I, I was going to say per minute, but I wanted yeah, to make it more, even crazier. Mm. Mixing and mastering occurred. Look at that uh, automation. No, it's, it's great. Oh, my God. <coughs> then what happens? We, oh, we, I, I, I love album automation. Album cover, I do it every day. That. I work. Now I work. Long Skype calls now I have a job. I don't know Where if that's you, relevant. You do it. Your, your job is to automate I, things. I, I don't think I do that. It's automating that. stuff. Or just one, maybe. He was on one of them. We, Moving we on. Kind of the Moving code, on. So like together. Now we're gonna get into talking Hi. to Matt. Oh. Matt's gonna uh, talk to us actually. My name's Matt we're not talking to him. I am yeah, you know that I saw that he made a, a joke, like a Nazi joke. Uh, yes. But Max it didn't. Devereaux it didn't cut the. Adrian didn't get in the cut. It didn't make the cut. As far as my contribution. But uh, it was a good joke. You, you can see that. This is a special they sneak like they peek. You can see it in his uh, Instagram. I think. Different love. Oh, really? Okay. So there you go. Yeah, that's the reason to check out Matt Bertzik's Instagram at Matt Bertzik on, on Instagram. With us in the basement. Yeah, I cut the and Nazi joke, you know, and I think it's because for love. the thing about 2022 that I think a lot of people are going to remember is that there was a strange the rise in anti-Semitism in that air, in that time, and you know. The, uh, oh. Translations it, that was the Kanji West the album art stuff. Yes, well, with that and Japanese just other weird goings on. So I don't know. I just kind of felt like it was just not. It wasn't gonna fit the. It wasn't gonna fit for what we were going for. Also, just you know, trying to streamline. Always trying to streamline with the um, interviews and with the film. So you know, big time. Any collaborators that felt like. They uh, had more in their interview that didn't make the cut. It's really just because I was looking for the, the bare bones, the meat. I can barely hear myself think with this fucking leaf blower going on out here. <laughs> Do you hear it too? I hear it as well. Jesus, Lord. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> it's going to be a great treat. My laugh also saturated the, the audio here, so it's going to be nice. There's going to be a lot happening in this sonic image that we are creating. It's going to be even better. It's going to be a, like a sonic collage of things. Anyway, without getting too meta, this is Matt. I love how his hair is spiked up like that. It looks great. He's wearing 
There's a some little... nice pajamas. He's wearing a pija pajamas. I think that's because of the joke, so because of the anymore. Nazi joke. Um, the boy in the striped pajamas. So English has gotten yeah. very good, probably better than mine, as you can tell. But when we're collaborating, he's good, man. That's a great. Uh, I, I, look. You met Matt too uh, yeah. in person. I met Matt as well. I mean, it's beautiful. I, I met Nelson. I met Matt. I mean, great people. I, I love them. And they and Matt also uh, made a bunch of uh, artwork for for me and for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love them. Yeah. There he goes. That's there. It's now. It's me. And I'm wearing sunglasses now because it was sunny out there. <sighs> nice. No lifeguard sure. on duty. <laughs> oh yeah, th this this uh, artwork was great to work on. I remember laughing. Ooh, David, controversial. That's in the uh, that's in the news right now. For anyone wondering when we're recording this, that was actually the, well the inspiration for the cover. I don't know if you remember See, that that image of us in black and white where we had our heads photoshopped oh, sure. on those sculptures. That was the. The inspiration yeah, yeah, for remember. being like that naked, sort of cherubs. I did the tear. Yeah, yeah, we wanted we wanted to be statues, like a Greek. Yes, and I think in a perfect world we would have not included clouds. Maybe. I would have. I, I would have opted out of the clouds. Oh, just I'm saying, like I yeah. feel like it would have been. I want to. I want to yeah. say that yeah, we look there's a, there's extremely kind of homosexual, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's hilarious. I think we, yeah. we really play, like got no, into anyway. that. Well, to me, yeah, here's the thing. I, do, I don't think it matters. You know, I really think, like people can oh, look at that either. if they can look at that image and make up their own mind. But at the end of the day, I want people to see not only these men, you know, secure in their sexuality, but they're secure in who they are as artists, and even though they're young artists, I think that was what we were trying to, you know, the message we were trying to put across was that the, we were secure young artists for creating an image yeah, like that. I mean, I mean that's I, outrageously I was, secure. Yeah, I think that was a great image. That's it's still image. powerful. I mean, it that will go down in history as probably the greatest album cover ever created. Even with the clouds. You know... For our next al album, if we ever make it, we should do some sort of a, a send up or you know a callback to that image somehow. Oh, true. Know. It'd be funny. Look, I love that when he kind of du ducks down and slides down the neck in that shot. It's so fun. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's just good. It's just a nice cut. It's you edited this section, and I think you did a really good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, that's uh, Luca. I, you know, he played electric guitar in my band for a while. He's a great guy, very fun. He seems great. I've never got to meet him, but I would love to someday. Yeah. And there I am, humping uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. You're in your little J Joji vibe there, Joji. For sure. Yeah, that was Influence. the inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day. Gap. <laughs> huh? You're wearing that nice Gap shirt. I love that. Oh, the Gap shirt. Yeah. That's true. You, See, what's fun you, you about really doing the got commentary... Nice detail. Well, I was going to say, what's great about the commentary is it get, lets us kind of just, you know, stream of consciousness, everything we're seeing, you know, we can elaborate on. And I think that's... Comment a on it. We yeah. Can, we can say, we can say, that's my room. That's your room. That's powerful. That, look at you scratching your beard like that. I love that. I've seen you do like that before. many times. You've never seen me? Or no, I have. Seen I've seen you do it. Oh, I do that a lot? That's like a Jesus. nervous tick you have. Oh, my God. I do it all the time. Everyone has stuff. I like, um, what do I do? I kind of scratch my beard or like I'll, I'll my, ch my chin, you know, like I'll do that thing where you, you put your hand kind of like a, you're holding like a... Uh, you know what I'm talking about, and then you are you're your touching chin. your chin. Um, okay, album cover, and then at this point, the everyone would have turned off the audio commentary. That's, that's so weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think they love to see people that do the same things that they do. You know. Yeah, we're just like normal right guys, now, everybody. That's like every mediocre video on TikTok. 
They just want to see people yeah, I remember how being you normal. Like, like relatable, you know, yeah. Like and uh, Well, you know, we're yeah. so starved of social interaction at this point the, that the, yeah. The feature and stuff. <laughs> What's going on with this <laughs> section it. of the yeah, film? I that was very hard for me, man. Because it's crazy you know, what I, happened. I thought that uh, Look at that, it just says my name right there. You know, people give me credit. Oh, yeah, we're you talking know, about you that. Know, that. Yeah. You're naked. Right, that's so great. That's, I think that's it's good. That that's great. and um that I work But it's fine, you know. But, yeah. uh, I think I'm saying that Remember right there. I, I, I yeah. Would, it's uh, whatever. We'll get it figured out someday. That, uh, yeah, when we get famous. And, uh, That's right. <laughs> How about when it matters? <laughs> what a joke. It matters for it. once. It's stupid. Yeah. Oh, look at that light. I love uh, string lights. Yeah. So I would always have string lights and like little Japanese screens going on. <laughs> Dude, the 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 background, the banca um, background, I amazing, that was right? Great. Yeah, yeah. Amazing that was we stuff, drew. We yeah. both took turns drawing little stupid things yeah. for that. From then on, we released everything on all Hell the yeah. platforms. There's our earnings. To, we didn't know how to before that album, which is funny. Hell yeah. And little then, bumps. No, nothing happened. That's funny. We we stopped talking in, at the same time in in the movie. Yeah, well, we wanted to, to see say. what I was going to say, and then I said nothing you happened. Thought, thought that, uh, oh, I love these. These were some of the best photos uh, that we ever released. <laughs> oh, that was great, yeah. The montage there? The montage is okay, the but I really like the one where we're, we're covering up our bits with the record cover. With the record, yeah. Like, I just think that's so powerful, and the energy is just... That could have been the album cover, honestly. The, us yeah. covering ourselves with the album cover, now that would be it. Was the Japanese, the Japanese sun vibe. Oh, it's so cool. It's very, uh, very nice, uh, graphical. Those would be great posters to, to own, collector's items that, you know, we're at, like, a convention, and somebody pushes them towards us and says, can you sign this, and then, you know, we do that. Hell yeah. That's that happens every every day. I think we should get into the con circuit. Cons. The con circuit. Cons. How do you do that? You have to like be like in some sort of like like mid tier like anime yeah. show or sci fi program yeah. or something that is like comic book superhero adjacent, and then you can do the con circuit and you get paid to appear at them. Oh really? Yeah, now appearing, you know, like fighter pilot in the background. B. Fighter pilot? That's anyway. one. That's my friend. Yep. And uh, he's, he's appeared in many video clips of mine. He's, he's going to appear in a new one as well. He's great. He's an actor, he's a mathematician. Um, mathematician? He's single and ready to mingle. <laughs> oh, okay, ladies, look out. <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> He's going to appreciate this highly. Um, look at those sideburns, ladies. Look at the sideburns. That's good, it's retro vibe. He dances, he dances salsa, he knows how to dance, he's going to take you out to dance. He's a perfect Spanish lad. Lover. Lover. <laughs> a Spanish lover. That's good. That's going to that's a uh, going to be going to be a good one. That's yeah, going to yeah. be good. He's saying he likes it. In every interview I, I did, I yeah. made sure that they said that they <laughs> loved it. I made sure that was seen. How did you make sure for that to happen? I don't understand. Just by by torturing them. <laughs> just long. So you were, your interviews were long, and you actually interviewed people in person. Yes. S several days. It was like kind of like a Stanley Kubrick thing where you just shot and shot footage until you had what you wanted, until the, they broke down, basically, and told they you what you needed They broke down to and, and, said, and said what I, what I wanted them to say for sure. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm not friends with any of them. They right. Hate. Well, you know, maybe it's for the it's best. Fine, because you know. look at the result is this beautiful look at, look documentary. Beautiful. I love you. You look like a serial killer right there. 
exactly that. That was the vibe. Beautiful, uh, doc, uh, uh, not documentary, music video <laughs> here. <laughs> no, this is this is actually was made for the documentary. Oh, was no it? It's, video it's, clip, no music video was made ever. There's no other. So, Everything we didn't was made the music. The he was. It, yeah, that, that's a funny concept. That would be cool to explore at some point. Uh, uh, go, how do you they go doc, like mockumentary? Yeah, it'd be very very spinal tap. Spinal tap. Yep. I love the gal in the blue coat. That's great. The, she's giving the finger and the slapping. She, that's she's so good. she's American. You know? Oh, they there you go. Girls, American see, fun I, girls. I see. I know. You knew it. You know your own kind. I you I have to. You have to. Jer she was called Jordan, I think. Hmm. And she's single and ready to mingle. I bet you she has never seen this, but hopefully someday she does. She, she, I that would be incredible, but she will never see this. Were they just in passing those those people that were in that? Or were, did, were they friends of yours? I don't remember. No, no, they, they were they, they were fun girls, actual fun girls. They loved the, the band, and and I said, hey, do you want to... Oh, I thought you said fun girls, but you're saying fan girls. Okay, go on. <laughs> what, what is the fun? <laughs> it sounded like you said they were fun uh, like girls. Fun, like funny. Uh, like, like, uh, uh, but like good times? Yeah, anyway, go on. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I meant, I meant uh, like the Beatles. I meant... Like yep. uh, yeah, like I groupies, mean, they, was kind groupies, of like a band exactly. Album There's a, a negative connotation out, with the word groupie, but I'm, I want to I'm, say right I'm, here and now, I'm groupies get a bad rap. They're shop. awesome. There are many fine books written by groupies that detail rock history and music oh. history and are worth your time. Go on. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Look at that. That's good. Railing, and here's me. I'm delivering flowers in. The hood, and there's some turkeys running around, and delivering Beautiful. flowers is scary when uh, you go up to certain buildings and you don't know what you're going to get into. It's kind of like being a cop. Interesting. Maybe maybe they think you are like an undercover cop with flowers, and then you have a gun inside the flower. Yeah, and they deploy like their turkeys. Here I'm spray painting Jesus's with silver. Which was a something I had to do, and dusting with a feather duster, just wasting time. Because whenever you work in any hourly job, you're just basically trying to waste as much time as possible, so you can go home. Beautiful. And uh, Michael worked there. That's Michael. You'll see him later in the documentary. Michael Sutton. Yes. Great guy. You know, what'd be so great is at the end of like recording on the logic file. It's like. File too big, cannot save. You know, like some exactly. good shit like That's, that. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm checking mine. Just I case. keep checking mine nervously, oh, no, but I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let God take care of this one. So. Let it. Let it in. In, the hands of God. It's in the hands of God at this point. Wow, I Look did a, two montages of me working at different dumb jobs that I've had over the years. Isn't that great? I, Vote. Well, you wanted to showcase your your well, life and your frustration. I think that's you can see that. And well, then, I wanted people to see that I had what I had to do to keep going here because exactly. it's important for other artists to see that not everyone can just make art twenty four seven. Like they have to get on with some dumb shit in order yep. to you know yep. maintain a, an artistic lifestyle, which is uh, definitely a compromised lifestyle. I will say because it. Uh, yeah. Causes you great hardships. Well, you know, for the longest time I was just, uh, you know, doing nothing in my house other than, than art. But, you know, the problem with that was that in the house it was more and more tense every day. Mm -hmm. And so that that's not the case. Yeah, and at the time of this recording, it's unique because you are now no longer in the nest. You've left the nest. Yeah, yeah, I feel that feels uh, like a relief. Yeah, I bet. But also very, um, uh, like, uh, like easily could could.
fail. So yes, I'm the, on, it's sort of a my... razor's edge, right? Yeah. So we'll see. That's that's what's uh, most of your life is going to feel like you feel now, where it's very tedious and like you're right on the edge of tipping into uh, complete annihilation. That's what you have to look forward to. Wow, yeah, I, I think, sound terribly I flat. That was flat. Yes, very flat. That's good bass. Yeah, man, that bass. I sold to my brother for so I could make rent one month. So there you go, folks. The the razor's edge. <laughs> I don't have that instrument anymore. Oh man. At least it's still in the family. He still plays it sometimes. That's good. He knows plays bass and guitar, right? Yeah, he he yeah, he's a multi instrumentalist. <laughs> let's talk about Nelson. Let's get in, let's get into it. <laughs> no, it's just funny because I just started talking like if this was just a phone call. Well, no, because we're doing a uh, you know, director's commentary right now for the let's talk film about Different whatever. Love, the 2022 documentary film Different Love. And we're, <laughs> we are now watching, I guess, a montage of me making other albums that are not even <laughs> we're not even discussing here which i think is a unique and possibly uh ill ill-advised uh collection of shots you think yeah actually you know what if i was going to make this film again i'd probably cut all this out because it doesn't have anything to do with the collaboration you know what i mean all of it i even cut well, what all does it, it do some it doesn't do anything for the the storytelling here I mean, it's it's okay. Sure, it's like what I, the the records I was making while we were making illusions. Oh, it's true. Yeah, but how about just shots of me making illusions? Do you know what I mean? Like editing from an editing perspective, we could have cut out five minutes right there. And it's yeah. Been on anyway, I'm always trying to become a better editor. I'm trying to be. I call it like brutal editing. And you know, yeah. like you need to just everything like a resume. that is unnecessary sure. gets taken out. You're working at Telepi stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then, well, this um, is we this is, is uh, low, by the way. now we gotta see the oh, this movie. Perfect. That's not being edited properly. Okay, so it's okay. Don't don't don't, <laughs> don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm it's out, just, man. This is awful. <laughs> oh my god, I can understand this shit. Then, I'm out. I can critique, you know, I'm little things. I can I'm critique watch. little things That's here and there. No clue. Um, Why because you, you know. It's all Jesus. about these. Well, I, I always thought life was about true. these sort of broad strokes. So you know what I mean? These little tiny well, details. You know, they say the devil's in the detail, whatever. So we, it's mm-hmm. all about broad strokes. Thought, man, you know, at the end of the day, no one's going to think about that five minute segment wrong, and how unnecessary it is. So, or uh, any of the other things think, that we come I don't think no one got to that point. There are so, apparently people that have watched this whole thing that I, no from way. what I've heard, yes, I don't, I don't believe them. They could have been blowing smoke up my ass, but I think that there are some people that actually saw this. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, he made you listen to all the Beatles albums well, in a row. I love them. Yeah. Love you all. Thank you so much for your time. Maybe someday we'll make another one. I was doing the same. We got thing, it. Using logic. Yeah. They were waiting. Never, I didn't. Oh, uh. That that was no, a mess. I'm yet. sorry. I was You've been getting like text this whole director's uh, commentary. I, I just want to seem popular making to the people. Releasing, uh, yeah, like you're just constantly blowing up. I'm, I'm just <laughs> blowing up. <laughs> That's me. That was a guitar I used for different love and illusions so, uh, and everything. The that's time. the pink guitar you broke I it i said oh it could be cool to uh, add how you yeah, broke it because you have a video of it yeah oh yeah that's the part where you asked me if i had a video of that and then we talk about it in the film and then what happens it appears magically documentary where it's just the albums get no no attention. See, the album's get getting no attention. I'm always in the in the negative. I'm always really good. In, the, in the pessimistic um, um, side of things. I, I think we're um, both kind of okay, like so that. Start, but so it's it's like weird. It's like not real pessimism because like really real pessimistic it. people like don't do anything. They just like say, oh well, it'll never exactly. work, and then they don't then they don't do it. We're like weird because like we 
we talk a big game like oh this is all bullshit but then we do all this shit like totally in spite of it it's very contradictory for sure i think that's that's what uh makes people that are worthwhile you know have uh, some kind of contradiction like that well you need that because you, you need to ground yourself you can't be like living in the clouds like some crazy uh you know you know what i mean so anyway yeah it's a matter of like uh how much uh like it's something that you cannot really choose you know what you actually do in the end mm -hmm. it's just who you are mm -hmm. and and we are who we are you know no one no one can say otherwise so here's a, a montage that makes more sense because we've got the, me recording the music the uh, music of illusions so there you have it folks heavy breathing yeah I love that so good can't even see I my hands I remember you there. hated this this song yep I mean I, I think it's pretty bad too no you hate it more than I do now at this point yep now I do and that's the reason I'm out. I'm not going to talk about this film. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> so you're leaving out. halfway through. We're not even halfway and you're going to leave. We're not even halfway. That's why I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I like that. I like that you're watching you know, I, I did a lot of something. And then I'm just watching it alone and, and doing a director's a commentary alone. Harmonies. Vocal harmonies <laughs> on them. That would be awesome. More. That would be awesome. We'll do a version where I'm I, I I'm alone for like half of it. We'll do a fun take of that. Look at that guy. <laughs> look, my head movement is great. It's great. I really love it. You look completely different now. You look so different. It's crazy. Now I'm like a like a guru. You look a bit like a muppet now. Now I'm a muppet. With long hair, <laughs> like the like the the one in uh, that was the the trash the trash can map. <laughs> map I'm that guy. Okay. There I was like a preteen guy. Mm-hmm. That didn't develop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yep, that's a nice shot of your knee there. I love that. <laughs> the cinematography Dude, in this I film is awe-inspiring. <laughs> I just wanted to, to, to say that I went from like a preteen to a garbage man. That, that was my evolution. Right on. Look, a frog. Look, a frog. <laughs> So this is Michael Sodnik, and he's using his uh, filter on his computer or some shit, and because he wanted he's to doing do it. the photo booth, he's doing the photo, photo booth. booth. Yes, photo booth. Trademark. There we are. Getting it done. Getting it done. Good hats. Very good. There's a. This video is incredible. This is a music video that we made for the documentary. Exactly. And here's a black like and white video we made for the documentary. It's not from anything. It's just for the documentary. It's to make it seem like there's the more movie. context, but in reality, yeah, this we, is all just... When making this documentary, we, we thought, oh my God, we haven't done anything. We haven't done anything. Why? We need to make material. And so we, we made everything. And that mm -hmm. for only for the film, and that makes it even crazier. And it's better. crazier, yeah. It's even better, and it's crazy because we had to take all these photographs too, which you're seeing. Yeah, I had to like cut my hair, let it grow again. Then yep, I remember all of that. That was like it took even longer than than what we say we it took because yeah, we say that making the film only took what four or five months, but in reality, it took like. Since it's almost the same timeline. It's almost the same timeline. Almost the exact the same we're talking about. Of time. Yep, like five year, five years Fair or well. so. Yeah, five years. Only I've never years. met this guy. What What's up with this guy? Why? <laughs> why? Why? Why is he here? What? What, what happened? Like, 
did he really have any involvement in it? Or this is the only thing in the documentary. A Facebook guy. Uh, in the director's commentary that I refuse to, to answer. You will not get to know what that is all about. I think that's and here's beautiful. the lovely Lindsay Raddus. Lindsay Raddus. And it, she it, is talking about her contribution. What were we going to say? Sorry. It took a long time to get the video from Pinky. But we got it. That's what all, all that matters is that we got it. It's in the is in the that that um, makes it more can. more valuable valuable even. Well, just any time you get a, another great artist to sign off on what you're doing, or at least you know con contribute. Con you gotta listen to you gotta listen to Pinky. You know, I I met her on SoundCloud, like we've met as well. Did and, you first uh, meet her on SoundCloud? Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, we, uh, but you met in real life. We, we made the album. No, not in real life. It. Oh, but uh, but uh, yeah, we we you know, we gave each other feedback on the music the that that we were making. With, and I so that was like fun. Five other so it was you that album. brought her into the the mix. Yep. I didn't know that. Maybe yeah. And then I I, I don't remember correctly, but I I, I met her on SoundCloud. I think. I think it's I think it was you then. Yeah, that's great. Moving on, here we are. This is a montage of me moving to L.A. for the first time. And boy, what an adventure that was. Was that it's the funny. time that we met? What? The yes. first time you were there? Oh. Yep. Yeah. I had been there to visit, of course, but this was my first time attempting the grand leap of faith. First of How many. How many times did you do it? <laughs> uh... Well, three times. This was the first, then the second. So the first didn't work, the second didn't work, and then the third time, now here I am. And we're talking, yeah. and I'm here. And look at me walking backwards with the laundry. That is very clutch. Eating Please a ham clutch. sandwich. Clutch? What does that mean? It means like... Um, it's like an English expression that probably isn't used often anymore, but it just means like, uh, like, like good job, like skilled, like nice work. You did a good. Okay. You did a good okay. thing there. Mm -hmm. You did good. Clutch. Wow. Yeah. I guess I should have not used such specific slang. There, I have a pineapple, and I'm inside of a Ralph's. I believe. I think I did that 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 day. I, I remember. Oh, I remember this. So I, I remember you my were my nose was you stuffy. Go to LA, and, mm -hmm. and so I was, you know, trying to plan out. So here's this great story. Do you want to talk about this story about telling the story? Do you want to talk about telling the story? I'm gonna <laughs> tell the story exactly the same, and it's go almost gonna be a dub of the film. You should try to double track like over your voice, Once right? You like you know what I mean? I'm like go. I'm gonna do it exactly. Go now. Do you know what you say? So that he could yeah. fit with when you were gonna go there. That's my attempt. He got me like a very fucked up. Fucked up. Line. I'm saying so fucked up. Like fucked up. Fucked up. Bro. Is that you actually that. on the that's plane in that picture? That's me on like the plane. Kind of like a, so that's pretty good know, to have that because that really where, is what you looked like you when know, you were having this episode. I, I looked like shit. And I, I was shitting. Be, so shit. You know, not being able to sleep and, and look. I love. I love to complain. It's beautiful. And having to, you know, go on the queue for the bathroom every time. Do you feel like you were like represented poorly in this documentary because you're like negative and <laughs> sick? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> no, no, no. It's. I think that's beautiful. I'm. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was awful. I am. I am. Uh, I do like to complain. So. Sometimes. You're seeing yourself for real. I think, which is a beautiful thing. You know. For sure. Yeah. When you see yourself. Look at that. That's when you saw me, self. <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> Yeah. I think yeah. the first things we did then, we went from you the airport to me Tokyo. self. Me self. I remember. That's, uh, we, we hugged. The, the and uh, yeah. I remember you were wearing all white. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what was that about? 
What did you think of that, by the way? Uh, it's funny. I, I thought, oh it's my really god, what the fuck? Who the like fuck is this guy? That's alive. great. I probably looked yeah. in like like okay, so you got to LA like almost like Gandalf to or something. To get to LA. No, you like were a, like an urban so Gandalf. Thing, so we, we urban Gandalf. The, yeah. Because I had, but I had a hood. I had a, a hoodie, and I was wearing. Yeah. So then. No, I wasn't wearing a hoodie. Settled. I just saw a picture of what I was yeah. wearing. What did you do, like, <laughs> I was wearing like a hoodie. Days, no, I had a white a pants and a white shirt and a uh, jean jacket in, on. And white yeah, shoes we as well. White. Oh, white movies, shoes. Movies, Very good. Some movies. We went, well, then we I wanted you to see how clean I was. Be like, oh, he's a clean guy. Because, you know, sometimes when you meet people on the internet, there's always that fear the that they <laughs> smell like <laughs> fajita <laughs> seasoning <laughs> packets. So you had to be all in white. That's great. I wanted to Mr. show clean. Uh, my Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean wears a white shirt and white pants. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Love that. Okay, here's MacArthur Park and beautiful shots. And now that park is completely overrun and is a fucking nightmare. But someday maybe it will be yes. uh, just well, gentrified to I hell think, and ruined. I think it Again. was It was um, like that at night. Oh, but this dude, it's like it's that. so bad now. Like during the day, nights, nights worse. During yeah, the day. I mean, there's obviously community efforts to you know uh, reinvigorate the community and everything, sure. but there's just a lot of nonsense going on over there dude, right now. Dude, I I remember that I went like from one side of the park, everything was fine, and then you cross the park and yeah. you are in hell. <laughs> it's not hell. It's just it's a little rough over there. Oh my god, dude! I, I I was thinking they're gonna rub me in any second. You know, I'm you gonna, gonna be dead. With Matt I'm gonna be dead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be I dead, did, dude. Uh, the the store they had, the one dollar store. So mm-hmm. we it this, was uh, all on the floor. Everything, just people <laughs> for, fucking um, robbing the store. Crazy, it mm-hmm. was crazy. Songs, uh, and then and then I people doing like uh, there I am in the park as well, in the entrance of the park. Oh, and and metal. did I tell the story sure of really of the guy that uh, is speed uh, on on Matt, or not, which is the guy that's talking night? Matt Ackerman. No, the guy that's tell speed it. on him. Yeah, and I think I played a doctor. And there's yeah, so there was this scene, guy uh, that uh, we were filming on a on a bus stop, and then this guy said that he was the owner of the bus stop, and he started speeding on. On Matt and I was filming, but Matt didn't realize that he was being speeded on because he had that jacket, that doctor jacket that he was wearing. Yeah, and uh, and so that was crazy. So he didn't realize that he was spit on because he had the doctor's jacket on. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's which is interesting because like a doctor would wear a jacket like that for that exact reason. For that exact reason. Exactly. I think. I think the guy saw saw the jacket and, uh, and thought that that was his opportunity to do that. Maybe he doesn't like so doctors. The guy that spit on him. Home, Maybe I don't know. And I think he um, he was more uh, about you know just uh, this I is my space and you're not allowed here. Right on. But, uh, oh, there's the beautiful I'm downtown Milwaukee. I was out of steam. There I am in downtown Milwaukee having a LA. nice smoke of something. Oh, there we go. So this is. Hell yeah. A, uh, a church that I would go visit and there's my friend Wayman Tatum Jr. He's a fantastic drummer and he also plays keyboards and there I am with him and Mike and we would go and hang out at that church and get good vibes listen yeah, to yeah. music and put out the uh, interact with and, the community you know, so they... there's us those are the, the photos we sent to my uncle it was out. What, yep. what, what, what the, was your take? I was right, right out of like, the shower like, and I was I, I was no so reflection. Really. Like, uh, well, just suspected that it like didn't my go skin was far uh, in pink in terms of uh, attention. Your skin and, was interesting. Uh, um, I, I do remember. Well, it's so funny because it, that, the that image ended up being black and white, so it didn't matter that your skin started. was pink. When I came back, well, you can see that I was kind of like my face was swollen uh, or something. Out how to do yeah. live shows well, and stuff like that. Like if I uh, cried so or something. Point in my life. Just I love that photo of you there. That's a nice photo. Set Hell yeah. Those songs you look intense. Yeah. Intense. <laughs> and also have a group to organize. I think that's that's very good. Then you played some shows. <sighs> yeah, I played I shows hate mainly in Madrid and Sevilla as well. Uh, to my to what? Talking. Really? And, uh, right. Just that second, I hate it. 
Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just because of my accent. I don't huh? know. I, I didn't like that. I was like, Jesus Christ! I have, I have more accent than ever. More than yeah. ever. More than when I didn't know English. Because I didn't. Of course. Maybe you're just kind of, you know, finding Jagging your way myself. into your. No, you're finding your way into your accent now, and soon you're gonna be right where you need to be. Hell yeah! So I'm dancing there. Great dance moves. Thank you. It's like a jellyfish or something. Yep. And I, like, out of in the crowd, like, uh, for a second, then I sit down. Am I hearing synth back bass? Down. Yeah, yeah, there's a... Uh, no, synth bass? No, it's a um, chorus. Like a bass with chorus. Well, who's playing that? Which together, which of the like guys in the, up there was band, basically? Eduardo. Um, the, wow, the it sounds guy in the back. And yeah, he's good. And he uh, um, and we he's in the documentary after, songs, uh, after yeah, this. We, we played some of the songs from Different Love. Oh, we'll get to hear from him. Uh, I'm like yawning and shit. Before we start talking about that, so <laughs> put together band. Look at that mustache. Wow, I wish I had my mustache again. Live at yeah. that point. Someday I'll get it back. That's Julio. Julio. I like pronouncing the names, Spanish names. Julio. Julio. Is that like your like American accent or what? Yeah, it's because you know you could say Julio, but in English you say Julio. Oh, like, oh, like, like a hard O. o. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we say Julio. Julio. Julio, you know what I mean? Julio. Very fast. <laughs> this is, this is incredible. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. I think sometimes when people do director commentaries, they probably like do more than one and then they cut more than one out. take, right? Yeah. yeah, they probably do, and they cut out the things that are like yeah. not interesting. But you know what? Who the fuck has time for that? Rich people. We're not doing that. We're going to kill the rich. So here's more of the show here, which is really nice. So Julio was in attendance for That's this show, I guess, because he's talking he about was. it. He was, because he went to the, to the same, not the same class, but the... The, the, the class, uh, how do you say that in English? I don't even know. Who well, was your classmate? <laughs> no, no, because he wasn't my classmate, but he was in the same grade, I wanted to say, but in another class. Oh. You, know I mean? you said it right. Huh? You said it good. Oh, thank you. Do you, like, how... You don't understand mm. anything, right? So you have to read everything. Yeah. What if I wrote things that have nothing to do with what he said? I think it'd be Good. totally fine. And I think most people that watch this care. probably wouldn't, wouldn't care or notice. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe they would. Well, tell us. We have a lot of tell Spanish us in the speakers. tell us in the comments. Tell us in the com oh, there you go. A little engagement. Oh. Wow. He was. He. In, it's funny. He was very. Uh, <laughs> Like, uh, like crushing himself talking or something. I think he wanted to keep it snappy. I can he tell just because he shot it. For sure. Well, he shot it vertical too, so maybe he was thinking like, let's just set this up quick and we'll just go and and we'll make sure that I talk no, fast so they can get the, all this info in there. Yeah, yeah, that that was definitely the intent. But it's funny because he he told me that uh, it, that he tried like he did like three versions of this and they lasted too long and so he did it again well that's really thoughtful of him to kind of like you know oh, yeah. fine tune his performance in the film oh for sure no he's great he's, he's one of my best friends he's, he's really it's, a good guy. it's amazing it's so great to have your friends uh, 
collaborate and talk with you talk in your thing (laughs) uh oh (laughs) I'm starting to lose (laughs) steam here folks (laughs) oh yeah well here I'm coming back this is like a labor of love you know because like to do no we're gonna just do it we're not even gonna talk about what it's like to do it we're gonna do it yeah, yeah, I think that's better. You know what? Okay. The, the, for example, one thing about the film. So I'm uh, getting, you know, <laughs> shots. <laughs> okay, I'm out. No. <laughs> no, one thing about the film. So we could have edited this part, by the way. Anyway, yeah, go on. Yeah. So the. Um, so so for example, in the film. Like, uh, I'm having my friends, you know, I'm seeing them in person most of the time. I even see him in person afterward, and he's in yep. the later half of the movie. Um, but uh, in your case, you are all alone, and uh, people, are, people are talking about it, but they don't... They're not yeah. with you, no, you know, so it's a very different vibe. It's really weird, actually, now that you mention that, yeah. Try to make them very... It's rare that I get to be around other people. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> other uh, collaborators. Uh, I usually work with yeah. people scattered across the globe, and it's quite lonesome. Yeah. Yeah, Sound, sounds like it. There's Jenna. You know, in retrospect, we probably could have gotten some Jenna interviews. Uh, that probably oh, it's true. Good. Uh, it's true. I feel like that was maybe a misstep. But, you know, we, we still had so many interviews already that I don't know here's I, I'm playing my only time I ever played at a restaurant there I am how was it it was the stupidest thing ever it was so so dumb such a waste of time dude that happened to me I mean I, I played at a bar late at night Saturday it was awful I tried to do like an acoustic set you know I was with uh my friend nope. Julia playing. I've played bars, but I like playing bars. But that's a restaurant. Like, like people were eating like sit-down dinner, and I was trying to like, yeah, do a set in the middle dude, of that, and it just felt dude, like but stupid. But people, people in the U.S., it's a different vibe in the, in the bar. You know, what I mean, like here, people don't don't give a fuck, and you need to give them. If you give them music, it has to be so loud that it doesn't matter that all of them are yelling at the same time. You know, what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's a different thing. The people here do not give a shit. They, you need to do, like, rock and blues. And that's rock and blues. disgusting. I fucking hate that. With all my soul. The rock Jesus and blues. Christ. Shit, yeah. Oh my god. But the, it's even worse because it's people here in Spain trying to emulate, like, yeah. uh, what they think is authentic and fucking uh, tradition. No. And what, I don't know what the fuck... It's fucking awful, man. They are dude, trash. Is that like, that's like what you're dealing that's with my call out. over there. That's my call out dude, to all of them. Go to hell. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I love this. We're getting some hot fire dude, coming this over is, from this the other side of the Atlantic. Shit. Love this. I, I want I want to... It's good to yell in some part of the thing. You know? Oh, yeah, I suppose there's no... Yeah, because you, you're pretty... Mellow usually, I guess both of us are. So yeah, get get up there, kind of let her rip, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was it. Are you using a pop filter on your microphone? No, but I'm looking away from it, which is not, which is not good. Oh, dude, your audio is gonna be all fucked. I wonder what it's gonna. Say. I'm talking dead ass right into this thing. No, your your audio is gonna sound like way too involved. I'm gonna be like late really back. crispy. Your audio is gonna sound like uh, like ASMR stuff, you know? Yeah, mine's. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, they're gonna get the chills. Like I'm here. Like <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get aroused. Hey. <coughs> Who's this guy? So he's uh, the first drummer I got in, in my band. He's a crazy guy. He makes music. He's, he likes a lot of rock music as well. And, uh, but and blues. A, <laughs> <laughs> but he's a good guy. He's Seems a like good a good guy. guy. 
I can tell just by how his face is moving that he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? Actually, he's not. No, I'm joking. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look, look, I'm oh, I love this song. Him. Look, look at that. Such a good song. Is that oh. him? Yeah, 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 that was him. I'm pushing him and shit. Oh, that's why that was put in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, you didn't know it was him either. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's very interesting because you, you had a lot of songs you played. Like, uh, Look at my butt. That you could play live. I mean, oh, that was I your butt? Have a, a, I guess. I don't even remember. Because I. Look at your hand. I wasn't ready, really. Like I wasn't ready as a statue. Technically, oh, that's my hand? Half, like, um, yeah, that's a nice uh, <laughs> epiphone. Is that a casino? We're in a casino. Five, you know? Yeah, no, we're not in the band. casino. <laughs> There's me and my first band yeah, in middle school. This is the first time I did oh, like, awesome. the Max Devereaux. And there's a poster for my first oh, the time playing song. live. Or the song that I and there's a set list. And there is us practicing in our little practice me. space. That I'm there. And, and you're actually recording. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> So here's that's a nice little audio effect. Oh. We switch from the Fancy. that audio for this little cute little montage of us being um, with our friends in making music in a band setting. Look at oh, that! Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Brushing teeth. That was staying overnight in a hotel. That was fun. Nice. You guys are on a train. Yeah. Eating rice. We're at a Mexican restaurant. You got uh, some beer. So Looks good. <clears throat> that was oh, a beer would be good right now, wouldn't it? When did we start talking yeah, about doing? Yeah, a, a little like early for me. But long time after that, I think You're eating cornflakes. Wow. I also felt kind of like out of At, steam. Uh, here it, it's it, it uh, 10 like, p.m. Um, this was 10 p.m. Here it's attempt. it's uh, just afternoon. <laughs> From the beginning. Oh well. What do I mean by afternoon? Like an hour <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> I like an this shot. Afternoon. You look very lonesome. <laughs> it sang badly. I like this shot as the beginning, and I I, I want to talk about some art craft, okay. film craft here. Yeah. I please. included this shot in the beginning of the creation of um, Trace because it's like. It's sort of like very lonesome. You're yep. there, hidden away. No. You're miles away. No. We're isolated from each other, yet we're still trying to create Damn this it. thing called our collaboration. And mm -hmm. it's almost like, do we get back on the horse and ride, you know, once more and do another record? And there's sort of a de like a desperation and a oh de determination. God. Oh, it's And true, it's man. very fun. That was very dark. And very dark times. It is good. Yeah, that was. I'm dark. coming off of a, you know, failure as far as like not being able to have my living situation stick and um, just like life stuff, relationship stuff, and then now it's like, okay, here we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna run it back for one last dance. Yeah, folks, that's depressing. I feel sad now. I think there's a wonderful melancholy that surrounds Trace that I think people who hear that album respond to that shit and they're like, whoa, these guys are fucking depressed. <laughs> that's, that's all they get from it. I hope so. No, no, I think, I, I think there's some. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's good. That's really important. Here we're working out um, the picking finger picking what? pattern for what song some way i'll stay oh yeah and this is the realest sense right or what was it something oh yeah it's realest sense yeah we should just sing through these parts <laughs> after start you see my fall in the reason is it love is it love? Is it love? 
Wee oui, wee, oui, right? You, me and my French friend made this great record. <laughs> and there's the leaf blower again. God bless America. Nice. Um, there you are. What are you playing? Uh, this is a game. Explain to me before. Search for something. <laughs> this is an alternative version. It doesn't work. Yeah, because this is where we're writing. So, folks, writing. what you're seeing here is us writing uh, music. the music of uh, Trace, which was the third record that we made together. <laughs> I feel <laughs> an insane person. <laughs> oh. This would be a good time to talk about um, how this film has been submitted for, I think, over 50 film festivals and was rejected from all of them. Oh, my God. And how I think that that is, stands out as a, it, its own accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Because, yeah, so well, we finished the film, and then it was submitted to many film festivals and lots and lots of... Uh, rejections, disqualifications, and uh, so that concludes a uh, different love in the film festival circuit. Were you going to add something? Yeah, so, you know, people don't like it that it's just low quality mobile things, you know. A lot of montages, yeah. a lot of music, it's two hours long, no one likes yep. that. No. And they don't like that they don't know who we are and anything about the project. Of course, the, we we need to be famous. We need to. If like, we were uh, famous, this shit would go off like gangbusters. Oh. People would be like, "Fuck into would, this." Oh, this would be like, ha what's the Billie Eilish documentary that came out on Disney or Olivia Rodrigo or Justin Bieber? It's like that kind of thing. No idea. Yeah. No. Well, that's the thing. You know, the uh, you need to like they could appreciate the quirkiness of it. If we yeah, they'd be famous. like, oh my god, like, look at how real and how actual real. people they are. <laughs> how real. Oh. <laughs> They're too real. There's the Shamu puppet pop filter. Dude. Girls could wow. love that. That Girls is really loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Girls could love From my end, all you hear is just like... <laughs> You and you're with munching away. Look at the yep. lighting there. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's real. Da, 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 da. Dude, who's gonna, who's gonna, who's gonna be watching this right now, dude? It's not what I want. It's not what I want. Yet. Hello. Are you there? Hello. <laughs> how many? How? <laughs> <laughs> just silence from I now just on. stopped talking. <laughs> I'm just done. <laughs> I'm out. I'm I'm actually enjoying listening to the music plus the leaf blower. <laughs> oh, good. Cornflakes hmm. are good, dude. Cornflakes are good. This <laughs> this montage is brutally long. Oh yeah. But I think that's beautiful because it really just shows people how long it takes to make to a record, patient. which is for us actually not that long, relatively speaking. Although this one took it's a true, long we're time fast. because we're fast. We're fast usually, but this one took a long time because of a bunch of bullshit, which we explain later on in the yeah. numerous. Uh, minutes to come yeah but like um people don't know how fast and dedicated we are dude making the songs and yeah they need to know making was harder as well they need to know oh look at that that's a nice one new more we were way more hell yeah cynical way more jaded naked we used to call um each other naked Mostly because of the fact that I, talk about that. Yes. So I don't know what, wait, what do you mean? During that. I mean I, I like fully naked. 
from LA to Milwaukee, from Milwaukee to LA. <laughs> uh, LA, I moved to LA, much. and then I moved from LA to Minneapolis. <laughs> I moved like four times in the making of Trey. <laughs> It was very difficult to uh, <laughs> complete it. But like, it's the crazy guy laughing about all those different cities. And then there I am. To, there uh, I am dancing. The Yay. Um, what the, why? Than the other records just because why are you that. dancing, dude? <laughs> what was what that? Is, what is there to say about Trace? I Trace was having a good time because I think I heard some music playing up there on the... On the no, no, I mean, why is that in the documentary? And it cuts to the oh, the just to show people how cool I am. <laughs> I'm an artist currently based in Chicago, and I contributed keyboards. This is Andre Betty, beautiful album. guy. Trace. Love him. I did not know Adrian before the making. Look at that shirt too. Fun the colors, bright. This album was how I oh met yeah. Him. Though I nice patterns. Him in person and. Um, he's using what? Pro, pro Tools or something? Ableton? What I is sometimes that? wonder if he's just a creation of Max's imagination. Look, that's me. Um, I don't know because I don't uh, know. But I did know Max for okay. a while before the making well, of the Well, that's very interesting. Uh, Max and I there, friends, that's inside the I Milwaukee domes instantly, right there. Kind of. I think there was a vibe. There are these You're three domes. Again. Here same and there. same, uh, the same style of dancing. Song, you do? Same out, style of dancing. Playing recorders. I remember it was hard to record parts. That's good. You have your trademark style. I have I have one too. <laughs> I know I've seen know. it. It's yeah, dude, dude. it's incredible. Yours too, man. I think we are great dancers as well. You know when oh, an artist it? is a good what? artist, they yeah they can be a good artist yeah. in many fields. Max, I think, was very although you do they may need some the technical time. ability that they don't have, but if they are truly lives, an artist, they they, they do but, have uh, like a I vast. Um, but this understanding project, of uh, the aesthetics, that he had asked me so they can get yeah. into many fields. Yeah, that's who we are. On a song, if I yes, um, definitely. It definitely was very Max definitely, definitely. We're gonna uh, suck our cocks. Sort of, there wasn't a lot of direction. Not a lot of We're guy. definitely I'm interested. Gonna foul. In, um, I'm gonna be foul and loud. No, 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 no. We we need to keep. I'm gonna be foul and loud. Our rating. <laughs> too seriously, perhaps. I think I wanted that. to make a good impression, or because you, we are there's always this little part nasty. of you that's like you throw stuff down and you know that people. Might I'm know. sorry, man. So the idea of like, ooh, I hope I put something. I lost like my train of thought. What I was going to say was, we are multifaceted like really artists, and we are interested time, in multiple types of storytelling the, and I remember uh, art song making. And sort of being like, uh, <clears> the song was the realest sense, and I remember For just sure, being man. like, whoa. This is like not a normal song, and I mean so, not a normal really song. Like See, it wasn't immediately clear. What, what did you I think could about should add or what I could the do. reaction um, to the, the film harmonies, when, felt, people, like, really dense and really when people when people saw it? Form yeah, people song. didn't see it. I remember when, when people didn't see it. What do you think about like, that? Oh, it's not like this. Uh, you know, well, I thought chorus type vibe. Duh, was like a little bit you know? different sort of situation going in my head in a good way. The yeah, the sound duh sounded. For the with song in my head, and that I feel mm -hmm. like is and, um, a very beautiful memory because it's really not that clear. Well, you know, just people out with Max, and um, I don't even really know what we did. Maybe we even were you know very close friends. Even we people that appeared on the film, the they only went and, and saw their keyboard one part. Up, which I, just, I think like, that's really funny. Playing or playing along <laughs> the song and, I think that's um, hilarious because you know they can you imagine scrubbing through the film, scrolling scrolling through the film, you know, yeah, seeing their own part and. And um, like, that was the majority like of the again? feedback that I got, that. and uh, that's it. What I thought would happen, which never happened, which I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised, but I thought people would take their parts, you know, like record the screen, you know, on their parts, and then like cut their segment of the interview and input it like into a post and be like, and share it. Right? This is yeah, no and be like, this is it. me, this is me in the documentary. <laughs> but I think it's because at the end of the day, it was like. I think for a lot of people, it was like, do I have to? When we asked them if they uh, wanted to do this. So I think that's really important to keep in mind that um, if you want to be an artist that creates stuff, you're going to have to make people do shit they don't want to do, unfortunately. Yeah. No, that's true. And, and honestly, they're probably going to hate you for it. Record improvisations Maybe. on the outro or ending vamps or whatever. Because at the end of the day, it's just to serve your own stupid, you know, 
your own ends of your your own means ends to means means to an end yeah that's that's a conflict that i have you know with for example having a band or stuff like that like i feel bad like telling a guy you know he's you know a guy that you know is doing a lot of effort you know just Learning, cool. like learning the songs, you know, playing them, like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, being in time, being tasteful, and then me being like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I feel bad for them. No, I'm yeah. joking. I'm not that, I'm not, it's just that I feel, I feel, it's, it's, uh, I have a conflict with, uh, with that a little bit. I don't want to, like, I feel like they're just... Just um, like they don't need to do this, you know. Yeah. But um, in the end, you know, if they want to do it, wanna, that, that's good. Well, in a perfect world, you know, you, we would just be super rich and we could just hire, you know, session musicians and and actors to fake that they helped us on the album. You know what I mean? And like everything would just be paid for. If you can pay for something, you can just do it and then you don't have to feel bad about it because you're like well I yeah. paid them so you know <laughs> they can complain all they want but they were paid so that, that's a great twist of the voice for you there but uh, I it's just I don't know even even paying them I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel that good but I mean I because you know I don't believe even even though I believe that I might have some ideas that are worthwhile artistically it's like involving someone else. I don't assume that they're gonna have to get it or anything. You know, it's like well, if, <laughs> yeah. So I, it's, I completely understand if uh, they don't, they don't want to be a part of it. But it, it, I, I guess it amazes me when when people want to be a part of something I'm doing. But uh, yes, it's always a blessing. It is, it is. It's actually great. Definitely very much appreciated. Here's Aya Okura talking about her uh, contribution to this record. And I've never met Aya, but she's lovely. We've had a few um, Skypes, and she's really cool. Very musical, very in, uh, in, interested in all types of music. And also, last I heard was... Uh, teaching people English. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. She, uh, yeah, it seems like uh, she had a, she has a lot of interest in like uh, sound and she asked yes. like uh, how I did like the intro for um, uh, writing on. Uh-huh. And, uh, the sort of orchestral thing, yeah. Yeah, she was intrigued by the sounds and um, yeah. I mean, she. she what did you some, say? What did you tell her? Uh, I was gonna say a joke, but uh, uh, no, I I told her that um, I made uh, I made it just editing a lot of uh, like autom uh, with automatization of uh, mm -hmm. of a sample from Spitfire, which is free. I use free wow. samples. Wow! Wow! Hey, there's a post. That's nice. There's a post. The oh yeah, she she also post. shares the the work, so that's good. There you go. No, now no, here's a lot of fuckery. Tell me about what's going on here. <laughs> just having fun, you know. Uh -huh. and, um, we're here in uh, Madrid. We're, that, that's the guy that appeared earlier. The guy on the left. The guy on the right is the bassist that was playing the chorus bass for the people that obviously is took seen this and remember when we <laughs> talked about the, the bass sounding like a synth that's the guy playing that and um, but he's no longer uh, the bassist <laughs> and, uh, and then the guy on the left is the one that I was talking to from Mexico and, um, is it hot there? yeah that's summertime you know. it looks in like Madrid. you're hot because I've heard that Spain is very hot is that true? it's very hot 
very, very hot. And Madrid is, uh, there's something about the humidity, or I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's, it's awful. Sometimes it's very awful. So why does anyone live there? Just because it's a fun city when it's not like that? I, I, I really don't know. I, um, I dislike so many things about Madrid. Do you wish you didn't grow up there? No, it's fine. It made me... Um, made me... Um, be more alone, which maybe in some ways, I don't think it's that all bad from that. But um, I hate, for example, the music scene here. All the music mm -hmm. scenes here, I hate them all. Mm -hmm. I don't fit in any of them as well. Maybe that's why I hate them. Yeah, but, yeah I um, think so. But I fucking, I cannot stand it. Uh, you know, people, right now, people are doing concerts where they're, like, uh, singing on top of the beat, but not only the beat, but the own voice of the song. So they're basically mm -hmm. singing on top of the, the songs, mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> and the, the sound of the music is awful, it's kind of like, um, like emo rap shit, um, and um, people love that. And so most of my friends are from outside Madrid, for example, well the only one that's a Spanish here is the Eduardo from the right, and then from the left, uh, th that's a uh, songwriter, singer-songwriter uh, from Chile, and then Julio is from Mexico. And uh, Olivia doesn't appear on the film much. Oh, uh, it, she's gonna appear actually now. Uh, but she also helped me record um, the previous interviews, Juan and, and Luca. And, uh, and uh, yeah, for example, she's, uh, she's from, um, France, you know. So I, I surround mm -hmm. myself from people with people from other places, basically. Yes. Yes. And uh, that's and that. I kind of do that. And you do that as well. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. I mean, on the on the internet a lot, right? Like you have so well, yeah. many collaborators all over the world. Yes. 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 You how you were always hunting for for people like um, what, do you, what do you mean like you are you are always hunting for for people to collaborate with on the internet right because that's how you hunt me as well I guess yes like uh, I like the, the the word hunting like I'm like I'm gonna annihilate them <laughs> well no I I think <laughs> it's more about um, there you go. But, there you go. Um, and then no, yeah. Like uh, I, I find I find that interesting. You, you like you are doing that to this day, right? <clears throat> yes. How how is that? How is that experience? And why why how is did that you experience? start doing that? Why did you Can start we just talk really that? quick about that? This picture of Chie is so great. Oh yeah. We used it for the cover for the uh, instrumental version of Trace. I don't think we ever explicitly say that in this. Oh. Uh, but I wanted to use it as an introductory. Also, this part here. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yes, to this day, I do search for collaborators online. I'm always searching for collaborators. I'll probably be searching for collaborators to the day I die because the fact of the matter is art making is a lonely endeavor, and I really want to continue to kind of build like a tree of friends and collaborators and people I can um, work with and help me shake up my own art practice. So whenever you involve yourself with someone else, it does shake up your, your practice slightly or you get new input or something and it's how you build a bigger and better world and you can kind of interface and connect yourself with the world at large. And so I've always wanted to have a network of people and I feel like I'm rambling at this point but you kind of understand what I'm saying I do but maybe the people need uh, for you to keep going okay so you know yeah so you know I've always felt like there's no shame in just fucking hitting up people just sliding into their DMs and being like hey that's a good one I, I dig an aspect um, 
of what you do or maybe a dig everything you do or whatever. And I want to see if there's some way we can merge worlds and merge ideas and then create something beautiful together. So that is constantly uh, something that I am and then we searching for. Like that is beautiful, man. That's, that's a good that's a good way to um, to do stuff and not be uh, um, stuck in your own bubble and you know do do stuff with other people. Not yeah, not being afraid to. Um, well, not afraid, you know, that's not the word, but... Zero fear. Well, f afraid, dude. Some people are afraid to reach out to other people because they're afraid they're going to get turned down or ignored or some bullshit. Yeah. But I'm always like, no, like, I have no shame, clearly. And so I am going to... Uh, I'm going to let people know when I like what they do and I'm going to see if I can rope them into my orbit and see what we can come up with and here's the lovely Jenny Lawless talking about her contributions it's gonna be fine just it's gonna be fine just do it and I liked the editing there I just want to say that because it's sort of like uh, when it's like it's gonna be fine and then she like removes her shirt in like a kind of like a like letting go of this inhibition to like collaborate that was sort of something I was thinking about while I was editing that I don't oh yeah. Think the had, like, a mm -hmm. I think about stuff like that, like kind of you know more like, how does the you know like how does the sound match the visual? Oh, I think about that types of stuff. Oh, high high thoughts. High thoughts, like a high guy, like a high guy. There we're at the Vista Theater watching a film. I don't remember. Or maybe it was a David Lynch film. Dude. Dude, I remember um, when we met in Los Angeles. Mm. Uh, you were flirting with this uh, South African girl. No, I wasn't. <laughs> and uh, and uh, no, I wasn't. And moving on, look at this. Look at what we're seeing here. So, <laughs> I want you to tell me. Oh, let's talk about Andrew Tompton. Have you ever met Andrew Tompton in real life? I haven't. I haven't. He seems like a great guy playing sitar. And, uh, I have met him in person. Yeah, you sent me a picture of you both. I, every time, every time I would see him, and yeah, I would send you a picture of him and I. Max. That that There's one. one of I remember them. that one. And then, uh, I think I have both in here. Let's maybe not. For, for that track. I couldn't uh, find the other one that I. One took. of the cooler things that I remember about that was. But uh, yeah, he's in a band, right? He he's in a band, right? I, uh, he's like a purple, right? <laughs> pur purple, <laughs> purple <laughs> funk <laughs> metropolis. Metropolis, <laughs> that's right. To it. Is that right? Um, and then the I think so. I don't know if me it's metropolis purple funk. No, that's all I know is that be. they're they're a, a legendary Minneapolis group. Anyone who wants to check them out should check them out and get the funk. Get the funk. And he I plays like uh, horns and stuff, right? Loved working on that song. He plays horns too. Yeah, he plays the sax, but he also plays the sitar, which is what he's talking about here. As he's out, another vertical interview, folks, and also he's out in the woods, which I like. Would love to do it again. It's, it's good, yeah. Sitar is needed. And, yeah, love, Nature. There's love, the other one, uh, folks. The other there one. it is. I'd say love it. Underrated. He was, Just random. Uh, he was, I would see him in random places. Oh, yeah, because say? you lived in the same place. Right? We lived in Minneapolis yeah. at the same in the so same Trey time period. Yeah. Came out. Time. He probably still lives there. Yes. There's yeah, that we, best I album cover. It's almost as good as the other best album cover. We might... Not even do yeah. one itself. We, we talked good. about how. Look, the three uh, albums. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's there. The they are. Maybe we, we talked about maybe doing another it's one. It's like if I'm I'm discovering it while it, I watch it. Really like, look, look, people look, look at that. Did it, you know? Because people yeah. are gonna be so, watching uh, this, listening um, to this at well, like yes. felt, one hour and forty four like, minutes. Uh, they're gonna be yes. you know like cooking. They're gonna be. In, like in having sex I, I, their <laughs> significant <laughs> other <laughs> and then they're gonna they're gonna hear a look and then look, they're gonna watch it <laughs> they're gonna st like stop what they're doing stop humping and they'll look up they're and they'll look at the screen they're gonna, well they can keep humping don't say that so 
But they, they need month, to have their eyes on the prize, which is this <laughs> awesome <laughs> documentary. Uh, the eyes on the prize. Like, start making albums. Very good. Myself. I think that, that was very helpful for me. And uh, we want to talk about the backdrop that <laughs> we know, chose for this, or no? Well, dude, wait. You choked to death on a corn <laughs> on a cornflake while we're recording dude, the director that's commentary. That's the cornflake in my <laughs> throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's my favorite part of the whole thing. Oh man, yeah, that's I love my this. family. Uh, you know, they. That's my cat, Bianca. Mm -hmm. That's that's my father. Almost uh, hit him, the cat. Um, no, they. You know, this is a beautiful house, beautiful setting to record. I recorded yeah. a video clip here as well in the quarantine, and. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, my father is a yeah. graphic designer. Uh, yeah. My stepmother is a uh, like, uh, music high school teacher. Uh, uh -huh. And my sister uh, plays very well piano. Right now she's in the conservatory. Wow. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and she, she plays amazingly better, uh -huh. way better than me, actually. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's really good. It sight reads very well, very quick, plain, well, complex uh, pieces, very good. Is she going to keep going down that path? It seems so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is in some way a little bit concerning because they're very, um, they're too uh, rigid in uh, conservatories. They don't allow Anyone who's seen the piano teacher would, you know, attest oh, to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly, yeah, that's, that's kind of like the... The place that you're getting into, you know, and so, yeah, the cons the conservatory has that downside, that you're Very gonna cut throat. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, um, yeah, I, I think she's. Oh, but you know, everyone can grow out of it. Do you, do you tell her like, oh, you know, if if it doesn't work in the conservatory, you know, classical world, you can always keep playing music for fun too for sure folks. yeah i mean I, yeah i uh you know i've made music with her too in the quarantine i uh, taught her how to use like the garage band on the ipad and mm -hmm. uh and uh we made songs together and that was really fun and mm -hmm. so you know i and she she also recently uh she made a, a tune as well um on her own and uh, and it's really good. She she, I, I think she having you know um, examples around her that uh, are not that rigid is good. Yeah. Um, for example, my father is very creative as well. My grandfather too. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We focus on uh, our own creation a lot. So a lot of time yeah. doing our own stuff. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful culture to grow up in, familial culture. It is. It is. Yeah. So, how much of this did you actually end up keeping? Did you did you record a lot with them? Um, so there's a. I think there's a lot of it that uh, was kept. Um, mm -hmm. But because uh, I, I could I couldn't cut anything out. I didn't want to cut any. When you sent me this segment, I didn't want to cut any of it out. Yeah, I, th I think they they that was great. I uh, we are also talking about the gay gay thing. I think is that in? No, I cut that out. Okay, so then I did take some stuff out. Maybe <laughs> you did cut something out. Um, no, but um, uh, um, yeah, they they are great. That's all I can say. They are great. I love that yellow chair. Yeah. Oh yeah, th she's talking about how my stepmother always plays, which is her mother, her biolo biological mother. She, they mm -hmm. they always they always play this video clip when um, when uh, Violeta's friends come over and she's embarrassed, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is so funny. I've never seen it happen in action, in the moment. But just the thought, it's very funny. Like, imagine you go, when you're a kid, you go to a friend's house and you see that video clip. You say, that's my, yeah. that's, that's my, uh, 
my brother, you know, it's like, what the fuck is he doing? What kind of lunatic is that? Is that in your family? What the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. So I think that's funny. That is funny. I don't know. What else? What did you think about uh -huh. this part? I love this part. It's so sweet what they say about me here. Oh, it's true, yeah. <laughs> that's, that was great. So this funny. is a great moment. Great moment. She's in love with you. I no, think it's fu I'm joking. <laughs> I think it's funny how they know that I don't speak Spanish. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Because of what I say in Spanish when every time I talk to your sister or anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what she says, I didn't. I didn't even say that. Like I don't even say that. I don't even. I, what? I, I think I know que pasa. A que pasa? No, you said that. Yeah. Once. Mm -hmm. What's like a recent? Is your cat? Let her be. You know the editing is nice because it's just it's just so chill. That you just kind of feel like you get to know these people, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you get to know, like, for example, you see my stepmother, she's worried about Bianca, you know. Um, it's important, I think something, this is something, you know, for the, the you know, editing students, film students that are listening to this po this podcast, <laughs> this fucking audio commentary. Um, sometimes you don't have to have something happening always on screen because sometimes what's really interesting is the moments in between you know, actions or moments in between moments. Oh, exactly. You just see how somebody, if you can see at like a character deal with a uh, break in the action, I think you can get really interesting character details there. Oh, for sure, man. You, um, you, so in those off, clips, I you've seen like how, for a brief how they are as, as people. With my mom, and, uh, and we were staying in Santa Monica. You, and, and I and, went. And I think that's, that's what makes it interesting, plane, not, not the, uh, the Airbnb that we were staying I mean, if, if I, like, was, cut them, like, uh, the surgically, like, every inch road, that was just, uh, put my toes in the sand, mm -hmm. you know, that, that could be so much back, worse. The even, even, yeah, it would be really relevant information, but it's just so much worse. Yeah. It would remove sort of the humanity of what we've got going here, which is a very sort of, uh, lo-fi, do-it-yourself type and of documentary experience yeah and moving on yeah wow here hard. we are at the I mean, end it's, it's we hard have depressed it was hard to make there's so we're much feeling a little bit uh, like why intended. did we do all this and so, i think anyone watching the documentary is probably thinking like, the same oh thing God. why did i sit through all this but the <laughs> fact of the matter yeah, is i think kind of that's probably what life is like when you get to the end of life you're probably like why did i do all this and you realize yeah it's not about all the album covers the end product, the end result. It's uh, it's all about the journey. Uh, it's true. Yep. Not to me. I, I think you gotta the, remove uh, yourself from the uh, it's result it's because the charm you're gonna do things regardless. You know what I mean? You it's gotta nice just know you yourself. Know you gotta know uh, what you naturally like do and strive <laughs> strive for it naturally. <laughs> you don't even have mm -hmm. to think. You know, like these people giving advice, like you gotta be doing this and that. You know, and being so like mm -hmm. fucking. Uh, uh, like, uh, diligent and uh, you know, all that stuff. It's more. It's more about knowing what what you are naturally uh, capable of striving for. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, following, following that naturally. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. <coughs> uh, <laughs> end of the line. I remember Max telling what? me one time that it's like I'm not. End of the line. This is the end of the. Now. Like I'm not. We're making getting. This film, this we're, we're getting close. Era. People I'm are saying forward, goodbye. Or, people or, are. Um, people are saying that talking about the actual documentary like we're doing now. And then we talked about doing mm -hmm. another album, and then we said fuck that. Well, and thanks we everyone for listening and watching our film, and I hope that. Oh, beautiful. Bye-bye.
Yeah, do, do we even talk about that one? The one that never came? <clears throat> we'll just, we'll tell the, we'll tell the audience of the documentary that we're, the next album that we're going to make is called The New Hell. Yeah. They, they are going to be looking forward to it. They will. And who knows if it'll ever come. You're going to have to wait. Patiently. Patiently. I was just going to say patiently. Yep. Yeah.